Factors Affecting Solubility Learning is fun with K-12 lessons! Don't forget to subscribe! What I know Which of the following describes solubility? A. The ability of liquid to change color B. The ability of something to dissolve in a liquid C. The time it takes for something to settle at the bottom of a liquid D. The speed of pouring a liquid out of a container A greater amount of sugar will dissolve in warm water than in cold water what factor affects the sugar solubility? A. Temperature of solvent B. Amount of solute C. Nature of solute D. Manner of stirring Which of the following does not affect the solubility of solid solutes? A. Volume of solvent B. Stirring C. Temperature D. Amount of solvent A gram of salt can be dissolved in 100 milliliters of water. What factors affect the solubility? A. Amount of solute B. Amount of solvent C. Size of solute D. Manner of stirring Choose the correct statement. A. A 100 ml water can dissolve a 1 tablespoon of sugar. B. Any quantity of sugar can be dissolved in a given volume of water. C. A given volume of solvent dissolves any quantity of solute. D. None of these. Identify the factors that affect solubility for each sentence. Choose your answer inside the box. When the solution is heated, more solute will dissolve in the solvent. Gasoline does not dissolve in water, does decreasing the solubility of gasoline. When two tablespoons of sugar are added to 200 milliliters of water, more sugar particles are dissolved as compared when the same amount of sugar is dissolved in 50 milliliters of water. Before using a suspension medicine, the label instructs you to shake it well before using it so as to dissolve the solute particles in the suspension. More fine salts dissolve in water as compared to table salt mixed in water. After learning about the difference of solutes from solvents, we can now identify the factors affecting solubility. Put a check mark whether the given solute is soluble in X if it is not soluble in the given solvent. Salt and water. Nail polish and acetone. Paint and water Flour and oil
Using the illustrations, identify which of the following substances can be dissolved in water. In the given situation, identify what factors affect the solubility of the following materials. Choose your answer inside the box. It tells about whether the solvent is in liquid, solid or in gas form. It depends on how fast or slow mixture was stirred. It tells whether the solute is soft or hard, powder or a whole piece. It tells how hot or cold is the solvent mixed in a mixture. It tells how much solvent is mixed in a mixture. Solubility is the maximum amount of a solute substance that will dissolve in a given amount of solvent at a specific temperature. There are different factors that affect solubility. The following are Nature of solute and solvent Temperature of solvent Manner of stirring Amount of solvent Size of the solute the effect of nature of solute and solvent on solubility. Solubility of a solute in a solvent depends on the nature of both solute and solvent. Example. Salt dissolves in water. Nail polish dissolves in acetone. We cannot dissolve nail polish in water but water can dissolve salt. The effect of temperature of solvent on solubility. Temperature affects the solubility of a solution. Raising the temperature will increase the solubility of a solute in a solvent. Example. The hot water dissolves a medicine easily than cold water. The effect of manner of stirring on solubility. Stirring affects how quickly a solute dissolves in a solvent. In the absence of stirring, the concentration of solute will be highest close to the pieces of solute, so more solute won't dissolve into the solution until it is stirred. The solute will dissolve faster by diffusion. One important concept of solution is in defining how much solute is dissolved in a given amount of solvent. This is called concentration. If the solution has small amount of solute it describes as a dilute, while concentrated describes solution that has a lot of solute in a given solvent. There is only a certain maximum amount of solute can be dissolved in a given solvent. This maximum amount is called the solubility. Choose the letter of the correct answer. To make a solution, you need a blank. This is the substance that gets dissolved. A. Solvent B. Solute C. Matter D. Suspension Which of the following describes solubility? A. The ability of liquid to change color B. The ability of something to dissolve in a liquid C. The time it takes for something to settle at the bottom of a liquid. D. The speed of pouring a liquid out of a container. A greater amount of sugar will dissolve in warm water than in cold water. What is the factor affecting the solubility? A. Temperature of solvent. B amount of solute c nature of solute d manner of stirring
Which of the following does not affect the solubility of solid solutes? A. Volume of solvent B. Temperature C. Stirring D. Amount of mixture Solubility is blank as temperature increases. A. Increasing B. Decreasing C. Neutral D. None of these Blank is one of the factors affect solubility and it depends on how fast or slow mixture is stirred. A. Manner of stirring B. Temperature C. Nature of solute D. Volume of solvent It tells about whether the solvent is in liquid, solid or in gas form. A. Manner of stirring B. Temperature C. Nature of solute D. Nature of solvent It tells whether the solute is soft or hard, powder or a whole piece. A. Manner of stirring B. Temperature C. Nature of solute D. Nature of solvent It tells how hot or cold are the solvents mixed in a mixture. A. Manner of stirring B. Temperature C. Nature of solute D. Nature of solvent What is known as the universal solvent? A. Water B. Acetone C. Vinegar D. Soy sauce Choose what solute can be dissolved in the given solvents. Cold water Alcohol Hot water Vinegar Acetone Oi! Oi! Oi!